Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Vinyl TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing and we we'll appreciate it. Thank you. What I'm going to do is give you overview of this printer. What we have here is HP Deskjet 4120E multifunctional printer. This printer is multi-tax, triple and one if you like, in the sense you can copy, scan and print from this gear. I'm going to give you an overview of this printer. Then what I want us to do is give you a tutorial on how to scan your document, print this document out and also share this document with somebody else. Before we do that, I'm going to turn this printer around. Here is the power cable. Three pin power cable is included in the packaging. This spot here is for USB cable. Unfortunately, USB cable is not included in the packaging. We have this at Vinyl Tech Store free delivery here in UK. This is the paper tray. You can load up to 35 sheets of papers right here and you adjust it. If you check my video, you see how we loaded the paper. You can print up to 8.5 print per minute with this printer. This is automatic document feeder. This is automatic document feeder. I'm going to turn this printer around. And here is the scanner, flat bell scanner. Load particular paper, ID card, document you want to copy or scan on top of the scanner and select the function from the LCD screen. It will do the job. So right now we have this book here we want to scan. And before we do that, if you open up right here, this printer is using ink cartridges 305 ink cartridges once it's open you open it up the ink cartridges so that will come right in the middle it does this automatically for you to change it okay and check my video how we loaded the ink now i'm going to show you the features from on this printer let's bring in the camera close you turn this printer on and off from right here this button is for you to copy black this button here is for you to copy color. This is LCD screen. This is the Wi-Fi button. This is the information button. It will ask you to press this information when you want to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network. This print, this is the resume and this is the cancel. I just want to mention from this LCD screen, you can see this is to show you that it's connected to Wi-Fi network and you can also full, see full Wi-Fi recession. And this zero is when you want to copy the document you want to copy. Like if you want to copy any document, you just press it, it will change the number. And if you want to cancel, then you press cancel button. You can also see two lines, two gauge line for the ink. It's full up. You just need to keep an eye. If it's running out, it will also show this gauge will decrease. You can see three bars inside on each line. When the ink is running out it will decrease so this is the overview for this printer what i'm going to show you right now is step by step how we can scan the document like i mentioned scan your document print it out share this to people okay and for us to do that i uh, will ask you to bring back your mobile device you can do this with a mobile app this printer is connected with hp smart app so go back to hp smart app So right now, this is HP Smart App. Okay, so this is this print. We're just gonna wait for this printer to be ready. The What I did now is just to make sure that I added a printer. This printer is already connected. Here you can see new HP cartridges is installed. And this is this printer. Okay, this is the ink cartridges. Now from this app, what we can do right now, I can see instant ink, printable, shortcut, mobile files, camera scan, help and support, print photo, 
print document, print printer scanner and copy. So I want us to select printer scanner. Once you select printer scanner, the next thing we need to do is for us, you can select the features you want from the scanner, okay? And what we have here is A4 paper. If you scroll down, if you scroll down, you can actually change the resolution. You can select, change the resolution to 300 dpi. But if you are scanning this document with your with computer PC, the dpi will go up to 600. At the moment, it's on 200 dpi, which you can also change to 300 dpi if you if you like. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is click scan. Right now it's starting to scan. Here we go. So here it is. Okay. Make make it full. Then click next. So this is the document we scan. I also want to mention if you want to scan a second one, you can turn this document upside down. Okay, and click there from the app. You go ahead again, click add. From the app once you click add then click scan it will start to scan the second page okay the other thing you can do just make sure make it full okay click next the other thing also if you go ahead and scan another one for instance scan i want to show you how you can also adjust the size of the document you scan Okay, you can see this is the document to scan. You can also adjust adjust it by yourself to various corner. You can also bring it close so you can do a lot of things. So you just need to use your hand to adjust it. Or the other thing you can do is click auto. Okay, if you click auto, then it will pick just the edges of the document. But if, if you click full, it will show up all the feature or all, all the full screen of all the full glass okay the next thing for us to do is click next once you click next it will start cropping and enhancing the document so right now what, what we have here is three documents we scan this is the first one this is second and third if you want to print this out you just need to go ahead and click print if you want to share this to my email to email you select select share you can also if you want to save it you click save okay now what i want us to do is first of all share this document first of all print this document for instance right now we're just going to print this document so once you select print make sure you select print Here we go. So once you select print, select it properly, it will start to process. Okay. Now what we have here, this is the document. So you can change if you want the color to change, you can change it to black and white or color. Right now it's in color. So you can also change it to black and white, for instance. Okay. So select black and white. And once you select it black and white, it will print out black. You can see the color change to black. But I want to leave it to 
okay i'm going to print it out black and white for you to see we scan this document color but i'm going to print it out black and white and also also uh, it can change orientation to landscape automatic or portrait or select it automatic automatic the other thing is also you can select the paper range the more option from the more option you have automatic quality for best automatic draft or best quality scaling fit to page or fill page you just need to select the one you want okay fill page now then you go back go back okay and this document is ready click print here we go right now this document is printing out as it's printing out i want to show you how to share this send this document to somebody click share okay if we see the option of share now it will give you option for you to share this document make sure you select scroll down and select jp basic pdf jpj is usually for photo so if you are sending a document make sure you select it as pdf you can also the actual size for this document we scan is 1.8 mb you can reduce the size to 1.0 or to smaller 0.6 okay i'm going to leave it to the medium so the original actual size is 1.8 medium is 1.0 and small size if we changing the size will make the document for you to send this document very easy so click share and once you reduce the size then the next thing is it give you the platforms you can send this to you can send it to via email whatsapp yahoo mail printable drive bluetooth so i'm going to select email so the first document we printed out scan and printed out one first just done the second one so once you are in an email the next thing you need to do type the email address of the person so type the email of address of the person type the subject then type the message to the person type the message to the person then the next thing you need to do is click send and once you click send this document right now is sending email it, this document is sent right now our job pretty much completed the only thing you can do is if you want to send save this, this, this document you just need to click save okay once you click save you can save it to your phone make sure you select change it to basic pdf and click save here we go this document right now is saved in the file okay so right now it's saved in the file so this is the second document we scan the second one is out okay so our job pretty much is completed with this app right now what we're doing is just waiting for the printer to complete remember we scan this document we scan it colored right now we change it from the app we are printing it at black okay So you can print up to 8.5 print per minute. This is beautiful. It's very clear. The color, very nice. It's best quality. Here we go. Here we go. So this is the document we scan. Here is the original one. We scan it colored, printed it at black and white, and send this to my email and also save it. If you want to go back to my email to check right now, the other thing you can do is go back to the email and check if this document is there in my inbox. So this is my email. Here we go. The document is there in my inbox. Click it open, download it. So right now, this document is inside my email. So it's downloading. Okay, click it open. Here we go. Inside my inbox. Inside my email. 
this is the first one second one you can also print it out as well by selecting print this is how to scan your document print it out change it from color to black and also save it and also sh share this to people if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe smash the like button share share appreciate you thank you and stay blessed thank you